So I'm a little bit new to these big conferences like this. Uh, what I found here is that the people that are here have phenomenal ideas, um, great conversations about where our UiPath is going, where RPA is going, the kind of things we need to know in order to be ready to equip our students. So I'm the Associate Dean of Faculty and Academic Affairs. And, uh, faculty all report to me, but also the undergraduate and one-year master's programs report up under me. So as the person who is sort of chiefly responsible for those programs, I'm able to, um, how should we say, innovate, help innovate in those programs, new content, new courses. And that's kind of how I come to the partnership with UiPath, because we're trying to develop new courses to help support the, um, the adoption of RPA learning and technology, not just by computer science students, but also by uh, business students, and hopefully in the very near future, uh, beyond to the entire university. Uh, this tool, this knowledge in our students' hands would be extremely powerful. Uh, so Chet and I started talking more and more, and we had a shared vision of a, you know, putting a bot in every business school student's hands. So we have students that are trying to, trying to take the technology and become use it as a, almost a tool for innovation and entrepreneurship, which uh, fits with the orientation that we're hoping our students will actually uh, bring to this particular technology. Uh, we have friends that are you know, alums of the business school and um, partners with the business school and the big four uh, accounting firms and most of the major consulting firms in the DC area. We convened a group of about 20 or so, um, all the way from you know, senior partners on down to people that are actually um, in the weeds doing implementation or consulting on, around impl um, implementation of RPA. And we spent about three hours with them talking about what they thought students would need if the students coming out of the business school would need to be ready for um, what RPA was going to look like in about um, 18 to 24 months. Students that are coming out of your business school will come into data science lines. We know they're not data scientists, but we, that's the line we would bring them in. And currently, we're paying $94,000 for that. So, 94, 95, the conver but the conversations were all very, very similar. When you think about a technology like RPA and the ability to uh, use it not just to automate existing processes, but to think of it almost as like a tool in your toolkit that you can bring processes into the world that nobody would have ever conceived of because they would have been too difficult to maintain over time and too mundane um, and too specialized to your specific interest that they wouldn't scale. You put that in the hands of somebody who likes to look at the world through the lens of trying to seek out unmet needs and fill them. Uh, I think the entrepreneurial opportunities are going to be uh, astounding. You're going to see a watershed moment in the very near future where the people that understand the power of this technology are, are going to use it to innovate, bring new things to the world. They're going to add value to their lives and add value to society and add value to the organizations that they either create or are part of. If we then ask the question about, okay, what about students beyond business school students? What about um, economic students and government students and English students? As the tools of natural language processing and photo recognition, as these sort of, as these tools become more plug and play and easier to use, Students are going to be able to use uh, RPA bots to help them assemble data sets and information, to curate information at a moment in time for their course projects in ways that they never could have done before. They're going to, they're going to start to ask questions because they know that they can answer them with the help of their robot. And they would have previously not asked that question because they, they felt there was no way to answer it. So I think, I think once you put bots with, with increased AI sophistication, and I think this is coming, in the hands of, of other students, the student experience is just gonna change. If I, if I ever leave the administrative post of being associate dean and go back to faculty where I have more time to research, I know exactly how I will use my bot. I will use it to create data sets that are new to the world. I will use it to curate information at a moment in time, to create um, unique cross-sectional data sets that allow me to test hypotheses and, 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 and get a snapshot of where something is now uh, as compared to its baseline from a previous time. And even more interesting than that, um, and this is something, this is a thirst, uh, an excitement I hope that I'm able to impart to our students, 
uh, creating time series data sets by sending the bot out to scrape data on a regular basis and in regular intervals, timestamp that data and drop alongside it fields from other sources to create new to the world time series data sets that allow for tests of causality using time series data. I, I think that these are things that currently doctoral students spend six months to two years developing unique data sets like this. And then they take that data set and they mine it for years because nobody else has it. I think RPA could transform the way that, that academics do research. And right now I'm not sure that the academics get that. What I'm doing is I'm encouraging my faculty to start thinking in this way. And so I'm looking for a handful of faculty that want to start assembling data sets like this to answer interesting questions. I think if it works the way I think it will, it will explode and it, it will change the way that research is done.